to a very special edition of After the Whistle here on location in the Fargo Dome for the 31st annual edition of the Dakota Bowl. Just an incredible one to recap. Uh, and Ryan, uh, exciting one to talk about for sure. Especially what a treat for me, my first Dakota Bowl, and we had some fantastic finishes this year. Absolutely, and uh, throughout the show, obviously, you're going to see all uh, four recaps of each game uh, throughout the day, and uh, <laughs> I think you cannot stop, or you cannot start without talking about the AAA championship. Minot, a comeback win, 38-35 over Fargo Shanley, and what will be remembered as one of the greatest title games in history in the state of North Dakota. Ryan, the superlatives, uh, they don't match what this game was. And you look at rainy champs looking to go back to back, but the Magic City miracle. You're down 21 points early in the third quarter. Logan Culkin, who's pretty quiet in that first half, they get two big touchdown grabs from him, and then Kellen Burke took over. Last 10 points all coming from him. It was really a tale of two halves for this group. You know, uh, Shanley looked like they were impossible to stop on offense, and we knew because this was a record-setting offense, one of the best-scoring offenses in AAA history, you know, with the, the amount of points they scored. They set that mark today. Uh, but Minot, finding a way to get stops on defense, and the turnovers were big as well. And uh, it, it's players like the, the leaders on this team that has really driven Minot. And we talked about Kellen Burke a minute ago, but... He's their five-tool guy. He plays defense. He does it on offense. And then kicking for the state championship, you can look at so many different MVPs. You can look at Lucas Peter. You can look at Logan Conklin. But in that conversation, it has to be Kellen Burke because he does it all. He is the exact guy that you want on your team. And Chauncey Hendershot, he told us that after the game as well. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, he, he was very complimentary of the team he had uh, going in. And the way they uh, came in with the attitude that they had, uh, the moments on moments that they were stacking, and uh, it was certainly, uh, he was exhilarated after this win. Uh, I, I couldn't have seen a more energetic coach after the fact. And uh, uh, it was fun to see him uh, talk about what he talked about at the end of this game. First title in 43 years, 1980, and you just see the excitement four hours away, and this complete side of the stands was packed with Minot fans. Let's hear from Chauncey after the game. It's our motto, Carpe Momentum, live in the moment. Uh, I think the moment was pretty big in the first half. That's a really good football team, but we knew we sold them all week. Hey, who wants to go four quarters with us? We're going four quarters. We'll see uh, how it stacks out at the end. And we made the plays we had to. We had guys step up, make huge plays. I mean, Kellen Burke's pick sixes. That's that, that's the stuff you dream of. Um, these guys have been working, though. We trained for it. And, and four years, four years. Uh, last year, after we, uh, when they were juniors, after we got eliminated by this Shanley team, uh, we changed how we condition. We changed how we do things. We wanted to be in a moment like this and be able to take it four quarters and do something that hasn't been done in 43 years in Minot, and that's bring home the title. So clearly a fired up coach there, and uh, it's hard its hard to imagine the emotions that go through you uh, winning a game like that. In just four years, what he has accomplished at this program, to turn around from a two-win program four years ago and to put Minot back on the map uh, on the football gridiron, it's, it's, it's something to behold for sure. It's something that every coach dreams of. You see guys like Evan Melmer at the nine-man level with South Border, which we'll get to in a little bit, or what Chauncey Hendershot has done. It's just the start of what a powerhouse might not could be. Absolutely. We talked about changing culture, changing the way this group prepared uh, going into uh, this season, obviously, and, and it really has shown that the way this group can compete late in games and stuff like that, you know. But uh, it's hard to talk about this game without just talking about how great Shanley has been all year and what a marvel this group has been. You felt at any moment this team could score anywhere. Yeah, and you knew right away that if you could just get one stop, you'd be lucky. Because like you said, Phil, going into this game, 12 points to set the North Dakota record in points, and they did that. They were fantastic. Just what really hurt them was that inopportune, untimely pick six. Otherwise, we could be saying back-to-back -back championships for Shanley. Certainly. A, a team that was looking to potentially become a dynasty, in a sense, they were at the AAA level. They're, they're not. Uh, it hasn't been a very long time since they've been here at the top of the level. Uh, you know, Coach Mattern has really created a fantastic uh, uh, program in the short time he's been here uh, at Shanley. But hats off to Minot. And, and these players knew it took, had to take everything to win this game. And the coaches after the game just kept harping on the resilience that that team has. They went down 14 and a half. They knew right away, we got to stop. We're back in it. Let's hear from some of the players after this one. This is from 6 a.m. workouts every single day in the off season. We're running routes with each other whenever we can. We're always just get looking to get better, man. It's just awesome. 
couldn't do it without this great group of people and great group of fans. This is awesome. We're bringing a ring back to Mina, baby. This is awesome. It's crazy. For me being a senior, I haven't started tearing up yet, but I know it'll kick in later. But right now, it's crazy. Just enjoying the moment. It's absolutely unreal. I don't have any words for it. I'm so proud of the group of kids that we have on the Mina High program. So proud of our coaching staff and everybody around. It's truly an amazing feeling. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I love these guys.